Hey everyone. So I'm about to install the uh, version 2 fat axles from Boom Racing for the D90 specifically. Uh, but I want to show you something. On my truck, I have the version 1, and the steering arm broke on it. Uh, now, the version 1 steering arms are two pieces. So you got the knuckle itself, and you got the steering arm. Uh, you can see it here it's made. So you got the steering arm there and the knuckle right there. And this piece was a little bit weak where it uh, it bent a bit and I tried to install a thicker piece but then the screws that I used broke inside the steering arm. If you look at the knuckles themselves they look very similar and the mounting system looks like it's pretty much the same. Now on my version 1 axles, I had taken the original supports from the D90 itself in order to um, set it up with the pan hard on that. But uh, let's see what happens with the other one. All right, so here you can really see the difference now in the steering wheel. So looking over them, they are essentially the same axles. The only two differences is the steering arms, the steering knuckles, and the linkages. Now the original ones are a bit smaller, as you can see here. See, the newer ones are much beefier. So if you already have the version one, you can upgrade it by simply changing the knuckles and the steering arms. Uh, I know the knuckles are available on the site. I'm not sure about the steering arms. Now it comes with the servo mounts and the servo plate on top, uh, but I'm using the panhard. So unfortunately you can't use this bracket. You got to use the original bracket from your D90, which for me is this one here with the panhard bracket here. So I'm going to replace that, put this one on the new axle so now they should already be greased up but uh, let's have a look and of course we will Lock tight these screws in. Now these screws you need to be careful of. They're very small and they're very easy to strip. Okay, so they're properly greased up. Basically putting them all in without really tightening them and then go around and tighten them afterwards. That way you don't have an offset on your cover when you're trying to put the screw in. So this cover basically makes it look pretty and it keeps the dust out. So you don't need to super torque it. So you seat it and give it a little a little nudge and that's all you need and besides the Loctite will uh, hold it in and a good set of tools really helps too so you don't strip the head on it
Now, if you're setting up your flat axles as a uh, pan hard setup, you're going to need to do a little bit of modifying or tuning is more like it, where the spacing is of the utmost importance. Uh, because you don't want the steering links to hit the pan hard and you don't want the uh, you know the steering links to hit each other and you want the suspension to work and so on and so forth and this setup that I'm about to show you is what I came up with now someone else might have some other way of doing it but this is the only way that I found that actually worked for me so what I basically do, let me get this off here. Is on here. I put the long screw through it. Install a standard M3 nut. Together. You can tighten it there because I mean the ball link will still turn inside the uh, inside the ball link, and then you screw that in as is. I'm gonna get tighten that there. Use the spacer that it comes with. Steering link. And then a lock nut. Now I need to do the same thing on this side here, but this here side here is just to add the nut so that it's at the same distance. Uh, height wise is this one here now let me show you why the spacers are necessary okay so get your pan hard right here your lower steering link your upper steering link and if I turn it check it out it fits right in between okay with the spacer here the spacer up here actually gets it above the area here. See, when you're steering to the left, it actually clears right here. So it's very important to have this nut, this spacer, and on the pan hard itself is a spacer here. Uh, now I use the spacer that I already had. But I can tell you how big it is. It is exactly six millimeters. So you need a six millimeter spacer on the pan hard, a nut on the installation screw on either side of the steering, and this spacer that comes with it, that comes with the steering arms, the spacer here for the steering arm itself. And that way you'll get a nice, clean setup. Nothing will bind, nothing will get stuck. And it doesn't matter if the steering suspension compresses or otherwise, everything fits perfectly. Now I used a turnbuckle to install my uh, pan hard. And this allowed me to fine tune the distance uh, of where the actual axle actually sits, uh, you know, parallel to the frame and that. So that's it for the front. Now time for the back. So let's pop this off.
Don't forget when you're putting your drive shafts back in to make sure the phasing is right, where this part is aligned with the same counterpart at the other end of the drive shaft. So, as much as possible. Sometimes it doesn't match perfectly, but you can generally get it pretty close. So my D90 will finally be back on the road. I can make some more videos.